Hello, vlog family. One of our more recent purchases was this waffle iron and we made regular waffles in it twice now, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we decided this time to make some different waffles and we ended up mixing up some brownie batter and making brownie waffles. So we're letting them harden some and then we're going to put some ice cream on top and see how that goes. So I went with mint chocolate chip with some whipped cream, homemade whipped cream on top. And Dan is going for the moose tracks with whipped cream on top. Today is Monday. I know this vlog isn't gonna go up for like two weeks or so. So I'll kind of fill you in on the state of the COVID-19 coronavirus situation happening right now. As of today, the grocery stores are emptying out like crazy constantly. Poor Dan at Aldi is being worked to the bone because of how much they're having to work to get all of their stock onto the shelves. And by the end of the day, everything is completely gone and their back room is completely empty and it's just ridiculous. I'm adding to that because I'm going grocery shopping or going to attempt to go grocery shopping like a mad woman. Also, as of today, Illinois at least, I don't know about the rest of the states, but I know Illinois at least has issued a rule that after 5 p.m. tonight, all restaurants are completely shutting down their dine-in areas until April 1st. Meaning you can still order takeout, you can still go through drive throughs I'm pretty sure, but you are not allowed to dine in at any restaurants. I'll be curious to see how that affects people because I think a lot of people anticipated not going crazy on groceries and instead getting takeout and eating places. So I'll be curious to see if that makes the grocery shopping stock ups even more insane. I am not going to stock up. I am going to get groceries that I need for this week to make the meals I had planned to make this week. So I have the grocery list. I'm going to attempt to get everything on it. It's only about 9 30 in the morning and Dan, Oldie just opened at nine and Dan's already texted me saying it's an absolute circus. And I also really hope that people that are out and about aren't coughing and sneezing all over because I already know that if people are going to Aldi and they're sick, that Dan is going to get sick. So I'm not really that worried about it in a sense of if we're going to get it, it's probably going to be Dan bringing it home because he can't not work. So that's why I'm I'm not as worried about going grocery shopping. Like we're quarantining ourselves as much as possible. Like I'm not going to be going out and about like crazy and doing all sorts of stuff. I'm not being super concerned about it. So I'm going to bring you guys along with to see what I can get on my grocery list. I'm hoping I can get what I need. But the longer I sit here and talk, the more chances of things being sold out are. So I'm going to get driving. Just got here and it's already angry snowing at me. So that's fun. All right, Aldi is done and that was surprisingly easy. Um, there was a lot of people there. I did see one or two carts that were overflowing with canned goods and somebody was definitely stocking up more than they needed to be. Um, but for the most part, everybody was actually just buying what it looked like they needed. And most people were not going crazy, which was really, really nice and refreshing to see. I, did, I couldn't get like milk and eggs. Those were completely gone already. I'm gonna go to Walmart now to try to get some food things I couldn't get here and other like toiletry type things. I don't, we don't need toilet paper, so I'm not gonna be getting any of that. Not that there would actually be any to buy anyway, but I, we need like toothpaste and deodorant because we are both almost out and I don't wanna go around being Miss Halitosis body odor. I honestly don't know what all the snow is. Like it's all over my head. Walmart was pretty successful. I got everything else that I needed. A lot of things were out as you saw. Some of those shelves were empty. I'm just happy that I got everything that I need. Now I have very, very heavy boxes of things to carry into the house. But other than that, like, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I thought it was, that was successful. I'm glad. Now I get to go home and not go anywhere the rest of the day. I haven't actually addressed it yet, but I chopped all of my hair off. So it is much, much shorter than it was. It used to be down well past my belly button and it is now just past my shoulders. And I was telling Dan after I got this cut that it was, this is 
the shortest it has been in well over 10 years. Like, the last time it was this short was, I think, when I cut almost, I cut an inch shy of two feet off of my hair when I was really little, and it basically came just below my ears at that point because I donated my hair, so I wanted to grow it out as long as I could and then cut off as much as I could to donate it. And so that's when it came out there. So the last time my hair was this length was when that had grown out to this length. And since then, it's never been this short. I have been keeping myself busy the last few days by working on a Mickey Mouse puzzle that Kristen sent me. She sent me this really, really cool 1500 piece Mickey Mouse puzzle. And she sent another, uh, she sent like a box full of goodies that I really, really appreciated. And this puzzle was the first thing I pulled out and opened to do after I had looked through the box. And it's already done. Like I'm sitting here, I had this little table, but you can see it already completed right there. All done. It only took me a couple days to do. It wasn't that challenging of a puzzle, although it's 1500 pieces. But what I really liked about it is there's, you can see there's just so many different images happening and going on that this was a really easy puzzle. Once I got the border done, I did the whole border all the way around like the entire frame. And then I got this big circle and this yellow and Mickey Mouse done. And after I had that done, I basically would just pick a piece out of the box, look at it, find any sort of like defining bit on it, and then look on the box and find where it goes. And I just started placing pieces within the puzzle until I started finding enough pieces to then connect them and connect them to the whole puzzle and put everything together. And then the last bit of red from the curtains on the background then, I just kind of collected those and then just started fitting them in where they went. It was, in that sense, it was a really easy puzzle to do, but in the same time, sometimes having a great big puzzle that you can just do that with, that you can just look at a piece and put it right where it goes, I kind of love. So this is definitely a puzzle that I will probably happily take apart and put back together a million times. Eventually, I have another puzzle that I want to work on. I'm gonna show it to you because I got this puzzle earlier the same day that Kristen's box came. I went to a friend's house because she had put on Facebook that she had this puzzle that she didn't want anymore and she was giving it away. I can literally barely hold it with one arm. That's how heavy this thing is. She had this puzzle and she goes, hey, I have this puzzle. Does anybody want it? And I was like, oh yeah, it's an ocean scene. I'll take it. And she was like, sweet, it's 9,000 pieces. And I was like, yes, I want it. So this is what it looks like. It's this really cool ocean scene. And this is how massive the box is. Like this is my hand and it's just this massive box that weighs like 20 pounds and inside is all of the information and everything and it comes in two different bags. They actually put the puzzle in there. They didn't just put it all in one big bag, they had to separate it because they separated it by halves. So you can see kind of smack down the middle where that line is. So they have this half in one bag and this half in another bag. I looked at the dimensions. When this thing is finished, it will be six and a half foot by 10 foot big. I don't know anybody who has that kind of floor space available. So she, my friend had gotten this puzzle several years ago, she had gotten it. And because her plan was to put it all together and then put it on her bathroom wall as like a massive art piece, but she couldn't because when she measured her wall, she realized her wall was too small. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this puzzle. That's what I plan on doing for the next five years of my life. I will make sure to let you know when I officially start it, so if any of you who know me want to come over and help, by no means will I turn you down. 
you are more than welcome to come help me to complete this puzzle. And that is gonna do it for my first week back vlogging. I hope it wasn't too terrible to watch. I hope you guys have had a great week, and I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye.